Good morning. Um, so you, at the end of yesterday, uh, yesterday's session, um, when I was working on Snippet Pixie next, um, I got to the point where I'd noticed that unless the classic version of Snippet Pixie was up and running, um, the new version wasn't going to get any notifications from the accessibility um, kit. Um, so that was a bit frustrating because I couldn't find a way for the new version um, of Snippet Pixie to tell um, Dbus to be up and running, uh, sorry, ATSPI Dbus interface to be up and running and send in notifications to the new version of Snippet Pixie. Um, so last night I had a little poke around um, and tried to make some changes to see if I could get anything going. Didn't really get anywhere. Um, I found um, some docs. I'll get to that in a sec. Let's just get Snippy Pixie's code up and running. So I found. Um, I was walk I'm looking through this walkthrough of um, how the accessibility stuff works, um, and it was talking about um, Orca, which is a screen reader. And there's things like here. It's just saying, you know. It ends up, you know, calling the registry um, to register an event, and that tells um, the ATSPI kit to start telling Orca about these events. Um, but it doesn't mention anything about um, bringing it up, apart from the fact. Does it say anything early on? No, there must be another document about, you know, your window, your desktop environment brings it up automatically. Um, so that didn't get me anywhere, um, even though what I did try to do, um, let's see, why does that do that again? So what I've started doing here is I've added in a registered event listener. So at the moment, um, we have um, been using um, a monitor. So we've been asking Dbus, saying, please can we monitor these types of messages coming out of the accessibility toolkit um, through ATSPI. So we've been asking for things like, hey, um, let me know when the control gets focused or there's a text changed event, things like that. Um, and we've done the same for these particular ones, which are about when a window um, gets deactivated, minimized, closed, all that kind of stuff. So that we know, just don't don't try and expand any snippets. We don't want to do that. Um, so we've been doing that for monitoring, uh, which is a special use case where you can't do anything with the message really, other than just monitor it. Um, so I presume it's lightweight, I don't know. Um, but anyway, the registered thing, because the documentation says, you know, register for an event, um, I thought I'd have a go at that. Um, so we've got this new bit of code here, um, start registered event listener. Um, and it, it's kind of working, I'll show that in a minute. Um, as long as Snippy Pixie Classic has started everything up. Um, and it does a similar thing to the monitoring. Um, so for this case, we're saying, hey, on the registry, um, I would like to register the, an event uh, called blah 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 window deactivate. So I'm just just doing that one here, um, and then assuming it works, um, we then add a match signal on that. So that's us saying, "Hey, tell me about all these things," um, and then we create a channel to read all those. Um, events and I just loop over them forever um, and print them out as this is kind of debug. I should probably do that. Just so I'm going to actually do. Okay, so that's me just uh, used classic snippet pixie. Um, and that's. 
that's working as such. Um, I, what I've done is in the main, I'm just doing that one at the moment, and I've commented out the other two. So there's no monitoring happening at the moment. All we're doing is looking at these re the registered event that we're, we're waiting for, which is window deactivate. And you go away from window. Um, so that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, and while I was in there, um, I cleaned up some of my error hand sort of handling here. So I'm using um, so this debug stuff is now just using F print line um, and where I actually return an error just further up. I'm using F error F which is using the error that came out and just plonking it in in a, in a specific place so it's wrapped. Um, and that helps for later um, when I get to um, doing like translations and things. I'll have somewhere where you can put it and stuff. Uh, right, anyway, so we're at the point here where we are getting registered events, hopefully. Um, and this one registered event and deactivate. I want to test it. So all I'm doing is printing out the entire message. So it's going to be a bit of a messy output again. And I want to see if I can get that working. Um, what else did I do? Oh, one thing I did do. So obviously I had to put in uh, a registered event connection stuff at the top. Um, but I've also still got um, this. So I am asking the session bus, not the ATSPI D bus, which is where we get the address for that one. I'm asking here the session bus by the looks of things. Is that right? No, I'm asking the Yes, I am asking the session session bus on its exposed org.ally bus interface. Um, what is the status um, property? I'm getting that property um, and seeing if it's enabled. So I'm basically asking the. Uh, Hey bus, are you enabled? Are you are you doing are you sending messages? Um and from that I had a little bit of a poke around beforehand to make sure that it does kind of work. So I was using the raw dbus send client um to ask. Um so I was getting the property. Uh, where is it over there? It's all wrapped here. So is enabled. And it came back and said false. This is when Snippet Pixie was disabled and stuff. And then I sent it is enabled to be set to true. And then asked again, are you enabled? And it came back true. Now, I don't know whether that's going to help or not. Um, and then this was before I put that code back in for checking in Snippet Pixie, whether it's enabled or not. And I was just mucking about with uh, building it and stuff. So I'm kind of at the point now. Oh, yeah, I was doing this. <laughs> I was doing this for my laptop, actually. That's why I haven't actually properly tested it yet. Um, for my laptop, shelled into this because it was late at night and I was... I was in bed. Um, so I was just shelled in, just playing about with this on this machine. Um, and so I did in the enable stuff, but I haven't actually tested it for sure. Other than we're doing it, it was coming back with the right result after I'd used the command line. So now I need to make again and see what's going to happen. So. We've just used Snippet Pixie. 
Um, so the status of snippet pixie, this is running. So everything should kind of work for sure. We should now, when I look at, so it's saying it's enabled, that's good. And when I deactivate, well, it's just show me an activate there already. Um, I'm getting that as well. So that's me getting registered events over here. Every time I deactivate that other window, I'm getting a deactivate message for my registered. Um, so that's good. Now I need to stop Snippet Pixie. The classic version. So that's not running. Now let's see if that has disabled. Ah, still true. It's enabled because I set it on the CLI. But is it going to work? I bet it doesn't. Nope. No messages. So that didn't help. So setting it, forcing it to be enabled through that property doesn't make any difference. There's something about the way that the um, the code from well, it's the file code that I was using in Snippet Bixi Classic, but that's you know that goes down to C code um, and uses the library. Something about the way that that in it. wakes up the accessibility toolkit. And I don't know what it is. Because I looked at the code and there's nothing in it other than it registers a few events. As far as I can tell. So I'm a bit of a loss at the moment as to how I can make sure that I can start receiving messages without um, using Seago to hook into the C libraries to say in it, even though, because the problem is, um, well, not the problem, the thing is, I can see that it's up and running. So if I look at the processes, um, grep for AT SPI, the launcher is there. There's a dbus daemon uh, with a config, which is doing all its things and has an address. The registry is up and running and using a GNOME session. So it's it's there, ready, waiting. It's just not giving me any messages. Something about the way that I'm connected and that's not telling it's not waking up the go broadcast these messages I don't know what it is I wonder what's in that config file
nice relaxed convict letting me do anything I want on my own bus, which is good in my session. Hmm. I don't know what to do now because the docks say. Well, it's not docks, is there? It's a walkthrough. See if there's um there's nothing telling me. How to get it up and running. Don't start diving into a mailing list, but I think I might have to. I'm going to book about that. I'll maybe have to get back and look at that. I just don't, I mean, I just don't want to do it while I'm videoing at the moment because I've got people, people's messages. Um, Whether they're public or not, it doesn't matter. Don't be wrong. It's not a very good video either. So what am I going to do then? So wonder if I wonder if that thing is still enabled after. So the status of Snippet Pixie is not running. Oh, we know it's enabled because my new version said it was. Right, so if I get the status from the DBus interface, it says true. I wonder. I wonder whether screen reader I wonder if screen reader would do it. No, right, so where's the uh, initialization stuff? I think it's in here.
It doesn't do anything out of the ordinary here. I'll just bump up the size. Here. What does that do? I don't think I've looked at that. See uh, where that is defined. Hmm. Well, I'll watch connections. And wake up. I bet they're just for... We're in here, though. Connection set, wake up. Wake up main, yeah. Don't think they're going to help me. No, oh, I don't know. Why is it not waking up for me? I 
I think I might end up having to use Seago to wake things up. I don't even know if that would work. But at the moment, I'm not finding the info I need for telling. Telling it to start sending my my application all the no, all the notices it needs to. It's getting them when it's up and running and broadcasting, but it's not broadcasting unless. Unless I've got classic snippet pixie up and running. Oh, I know. That's what I was going to look at. Um, maybe I have to be registered as a screen reader. Screen reader enabled. Right. Let's try that. These are the two. So quick look at that. What when does that change? State running. Ensure early bus statement. So that's just it's okay and up and running. So when does it go idle? Never. Okay. 
must be where it starts at, and then it goes into read an address, run in, and then potentially an error. Okay. Okay, let's go check and see what we can do with this. Okay, that's getting the property. That's setting things up. Okay, here we go. All right. If it's already enabled, don't do anything. Otherwise, if we're asking it to be enabled, Goes off and that's when it has been enabled. We should enable accessibility if it isn't enabled already. Ah, okay. I wonder. I wonder if that would actually help. Let's give it a go. Um, okay, so. do here and a screen reader enabled get property screen reader enabled So I'll do a quick check on that. See what the current status is without me doing anything. Okay. So what if we start poking around at these things and
Let's do something here. That's right. Why is it not doing these references anymore? What's going on? Rrr. no sense. I just used it to get it. They enabled. Okay, status. Okay, what if I do something Do this. So we're going to have a separate object just for working on the status. And 
we're going to use the status interface. But still keeping the bus path. Because I just still don't understand these path things. Don't know why they even exist. Um, okay. So I predict that this is all wrong. <laughs> and we're going to get an error straight away. So it can't even get the enabled. But uh, we'll try. Yeah. Fail to get Ali bus enabled status. The name org Ali status was not provided by any service files. Is that simply because this is the path they would be in? Nope. Okay, what well, does provide it then?
and it sets it. It's definitely on the path or galley bus. Work, did it? We do. It is not meant.
It's infuriating. We can get, but we can't set. even though it's a read-write. Oh, I don't know. It's not really uh, making a lot of sense at the moment. All right, one check before I move on to the next iteration of this of maybe using a different connection is let's just double check. Okay, if I can get the property. Okay, so that's getting it in theory. Well, I'm still thinking that I'll maybe buck out the wrong tree anyway. 
to set and it may not actually activate it properly but from the code it looks as though it kind of does but what if So I'm going to connect to the DBus, so the ATSPI's own DBus interface. Hopefully it works. And then I'm going to set a property on that one interface using this int that one bus using this interface. but then read the property from the other connection, which we know is already working. It doesn't make any sense, but Okay. That's progress. Um, How do I do that then? Hold on, can I just do like var 
uh, status. In. It's not a thing. So it does have to be a D bus variant. Can I just set that to true? No. Okay, can I do that then? Seems a bit weird, but oh no, that's not what I wanted to. <laughs> uh, that's something very different. <laughs> I want to do is set the value. Just want to do make variant then. Okay. Dope. Oh. Um. Which I already know because I did that before. Okay, so make a variant. And then send it. I clearly have not had enough coffee this morning. What? I thought we were getting somewhere before. Because it kind of looked as though it was going to give me...
Okay, let's try. Hmm. Alley status object is going to be status com. Object. For the org at status. And the path org. And a status. Hopefully. We then gonna call set property. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how how I can't write to it. Where it is. It's annoying. If I do that,
Base org added status not found. Got that wrong. What if it's that? Although I'm using get property down there, okay. Yeah. Valid property. frustrating. I wonder if it's not not allowing me to poke at it because it's not up. So what about that? So what if? Okay, so if I make that. So this doesn't work at the moment. If I get Snippy Pixie up and running, run it again, same problem. Okay, there's not that. That's good. Yeah, it's probably not even the right way of going about it anyway. Anyway, I've got to go. Uh, so. Thanks for watching me fumble around yet again, trying to work out how to get an ATSPI interface up and running without any success. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.